Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Since we started checking out all of these new M.2 drives a few months ago, all of these drive manufacturers have started reaching out to us and sending us drives over to test and compare. And this time, it's Samsung's turn. We're checking out their brand new 980 Pro PCIe Gen 4 NVMe M.2 drive. And as usual, we put this drive up against 11 other drives that we've got to see how it stacks up. Samsung sent over the one terabyte version of the 980, but it does come in a few other capacities like 250 gig and 500 gigs as well. And since we don't have either of those, we're only going to be talking about the one terabyte version of this drive in the video. Now we did all of the testing with the heatsink on and with the heatsink off, and this drive actually does thermal throttle a bit. So you're looking at about three to 400 megs a second slower with sequential reads. And that would uh, mean, yeah, just use the heatsink. In random reads and writes, the difference is actually within a margin of error, but for those really fast sequential read and writes, you're gonna need a heatsink. Again, like, use a heatsink, okay. I said that too many times, but yes, do use a heatsink with this. The Samsung 980 Pro M.2 SSD is Samsung's answer to the rest of the industry slowly moving towards Gen 4 storage and more Gen 4 options. It took them a little bit longer than everyone else to get there, but the wait was definitely worth it. This drive is really designed for PC enthusiasts, for gamers, for content creators, and buyers who want to get the maximum speed. The 1TB 980 Pro has random read and write performance of around 1 million IOPS for both read and write. The drive is also fully PCIe Gen 3 capable as well and should also work in PCIe Gen 3 slots too. We tested this and it works perfectly. It comes with a 5 year warranty with around 600 terabytes written and should give you around 1.5 million hours of use before any types of failure and that's around 171 years, so a lot longer than we're going to be alive. On the controller side for this drive it's using the brand new Samsung Elpus controller and it's been designed from the ground up to fully take advantage of PCIe 4.0. The 980 Pro is the first drive to use this brand new custom controller from Samsung. The drive also has a few other tricks up its sleeve too. The drive uses Samsung's VNAND 3-bit MLC NAND flash and is really geared towards power users. Not only that, it also self-encrypts and all the data is encrypted with AES XTS 256-bit encryption with TCG Opal 2.0. As far as caching with this drive, the one terabyte version that we're testing in this video has a DRAM cache. It uses one gig of low power DDR4 memory. On the power consumption side, you're seeing around nine watts at full tilt and around six watts on average. And as usual, we put this drive up against 11 other drives that we've got available at the moment, and we do a crazy amount of testing for this. And the way we do it is we fill every drive up to 50% capacity, we run five different types of tests, and we run those tests 20 times, and then we calculate the average speed of all of those 20 tests conducted. We run the one gig test, the four gig test, the 16 gig test, the 32 gig test, and a 64 gig test on all the drives that we get through the studio to give this some context. Now the drives that we test, these are the only drives that I've got right now. And if I didn't test something, then I clearly don't have one of those drives to test. So please don't ask why we tested a certain drive. Strap yourself in ladies and gents, there's a lot of data to unpack. So let's do it. As usual with these drive benchmarking videos, feel free to use that magical little pause button down below and I'll allow you to stop the video at any point in time so you can take a closer look at any graphs in this video. It's magic, right? There's a lot of variation between all of the drives that you're seeing as they all come in at different price points for different use cases. This is actually a pretty good sample of drives you might actually consider buying. This is from the entry level all the way up to the high end. There are an array of other things you need to consider before choosing an M.2 drive as well. Those differences can be found with a quick little Google search. Now there are things to consider like the varying amounts of cache on each drive, the physical controllers being used on each of these drives. Uh, we've also noticed that if you're using the same model drive, there can be different revisions of the same controller that could also affect the performance you're seeing. There's also other things like the physical capacity of the drives with 
most higher capacity drives always, if not always, performing better. The differences with the physical speed between PCIe Gen 3 and Gen 4 and the physical pool of drives, but like I said, we can only provide you with the information and the data that we've got available to us at the time of testing these drives. Now we test all of these drives on the exact same test bench and we like to keep everything as consistent and as controlled as possible. And as I always say with any testing that we do, take everything that you're seeing in this video with a grain of salt. In these tests, it's pretty clear that the Samsung 980 Pro is the fastest single drive that we've ever tested. The RAID 0 setups that we've done are definitely not included because they're way faster. However, we do have a RAID 0 video planned with the 980 Pros as well. Anyways, the point of the 980 Pro, it, it's really designed to be the absolute fastest drive on the market. And it is. And the 980 Pro is basically a no compromises, all out speed demon designed for super fast disk access. It's, I think it's really good for content creation and workstation uses. Now, this drive is also supposed to be supposedly as fast as the PS5 and the Xbox Series X as well, but yeah, there's no way to test that and there probably won't ever be a way to test those drives unless you pull them out and put them in a computer. Okay, do I think the 980 Pro is worth the money? Uh, again, this is all always pretty subjective depending on your use case. If you need the raw read and write performance, I would say absolutely yes. Now, there's other options like the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus that we would have compared to, but unfortunately we don't have one to test yet. And that drive on paper is supposed to be as fast as this one. We do have one coming soon, so do stay tuned for that. If we compare this new Samsung drive to the Seagate FireQ to 520 and the Sabrent Rocket 4, the non-plus version, both in the one terabyte capacities, and I'm gonna do this in Australian dollars because this is my local currency, the Samsung drive is around 15 to $20 more expensive than the FireQ to 520 and the Rocket. What does that mean to the regular consumer out there? Well, if you want that balls to the wall speed and you wanna spend a little bit of extra money, I would say absolutely doing it. However, the random read and write operations on all of the drives are pretty close to the same performance. The reality is, if you want it and you gotta have it, I would buy it. The extra 15 to $20, in my opinion, is worth it. But that's because I just like having faster drives. Anyways, guys, if you're interested in grabbing the one terabyte Samsung 980 Pro shown in this video, they're going for around 229 US dollars or around 369 Australian dollars at the time of filming this video. And let me know what you think of this drive. Let me know if you've already got one and let me know any other drives that you think that we should test and try and get our hands on. Yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think about it. And just to add this, because I always have to do this because some people think that, I don't know, that they just don't understand how YouTube works. This video is not paid for or sponsored by Samsung. 
they literally just sent us a drive and I decided to do a video about it. There's no like caveat on if we have to do anything with it. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and hit that dislike button twice or tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And this thing is really, really fast. Obviously, like this is just the box. The drive's there, still got to film B-roll, but we're gonna do a RAID Zero setup with four of these and it's gonna be fast, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.